hello 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 so welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to make an animating splash screen just like the one that you just saw right now as the screen begins so everything that we're going to be using is going to be free except for premiere pro which is a software that we use so starting off go on to this website called www.canva.com it is pretty easy quick and fun to use so if you don't feel like going through photoshop right now just go ahead straight off into this so once you've logged in what we are going to do is change up the dimensions and use custom dimensions you know what just to make this easy let me go back again and start off right in the beginning so you can follow through and see exactly what we are doing so you can see this is where i have all my stuff stored it is going to ask you to sign in and create an account so once you've done that this is a page that it will lead you to so there's all these basic like custom dimensions that we're going to use but we are going to use custom dimensions so click the plus right over there at the end and what it's going to do is going to give you various options this is absolutely cool to use because there are so many options that you can use but because we are trying to fit this onto a 1080p screen which is what you know we're stretching everything on youtube to make our splash screens not look weird we're going to use custom dimensions and a normal screen is 1920 by 1080p so this is where we're going to enter this 1920 and move it on to 1080 it is set in pixels already so go ahead and do not change that then we're going to go ahead and press design so what you're going to be put on is a blank screen and then basically what i did is because i'm adding text there's so much that you can basically do with this but just to show you guys how i created mine with my name i went ahead and went over to the text then created a screen I mean, sorry, added text by just adding a heading. So the easiest way to do this, you could do it backwards or forwards. I just decided to do it backwards and keep on subtracting um, images or elements to it because we're creating multiple frames that we're later on going to put in Adobe Premiere Pro to make into one smooth video. So I go ahead and I select the handwriting that I want because my brand, basically, I enjoy like using the um, cursive writing. That's what I picked. But there are so many other options that you could use depending on whatever brand or whatever you want to use. So the font that I used to get all of this created was the clicker script. And I basically wrote out the full thing, which is my full YouTube name. So go ahead and type that out. It is not just Nadia. In your case, you will be creating your own name. And I go ahead and I change the size to get it to fit, to move everything around, to get to see that, you know, how big do I want this? So up over here you choose your text up over here you can choose the size of your text over here you can play around with the color change your text up a bit wanted to keep it really clean and really simple so it was all going to be black so moving on the next part or the next thing that we are going to do is add the elephant i'm still working on getting a 3d model for my personalized elephant but there's in canva there's lots of different elements on top of layouts that you can use um so elements you have shapes your photos free photos illustrations if you really love canva that much you can go ahead and use that but i'm going ahead and i'm using icons so i just typed for elephant now this is a free app or tool to use free website uh, but if you want you can go ahead and actually purchase some of these icons that you're offered over here or purchase certain templates i don't need that i just wanted a simple cute elephant so i dragged my little cute elephant out over here and went ahead up over here you'll see you can copy duplicate whatever you've just added or you can change the arrangement move it forward or move it backwards so moving on um i'm going to arrange that and put that back boom so i have my final screen and you can stretch it so you can go ahead stretch it make it bigger make it smaller to see this is what is basically going to be my final screen when i am done and we're working backwards so i do want my text to be slightly bigger playing around with that too it was definitely a lot of playing around to see what you want if you want you can change the color of the icon make it pink make it purple uh i think i like the previous color that we had so just go ahead and press ctrl z if you want to keep the icons they are but there's so much that you can do definitely change it up 
So once I have my last screen created, I went ahead and I copied the page, then went ahead to duplicate it. So to get the flashing and changing, I changed around the background. There's all these different background options that you have. Oh, I actually didn't see these ones. You can get it to flash different colors depending on whatever you want. Um, this is actually really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. I hadn't seen it the first time I created it. And then from what I want to do, the next frame that I'm creating, I want my elephant maybe to be smaller or have moved to a different position. So you go ahead, move it, and then you duplicate the screen again. It's going to repeat the same thing. But I want my background to go back to being white like it was in the beginning. And I'm going to make another change. Boom, make it smaller, maybe choose to delete a letter. And the whole process is basically duplicating and deleting, creating that as you work backwards until the first thing that I have most probably is my N or my NOT or whatever I want to do. So as I was doing that, I was going ahead and also moving the frames as we went. Then once all of that is done, go ahead and download the whole file. PNG is the quality that is definitely recommended, so go ahead and download that. Because you have multiple pictures, what it is going to do is it is going to put everything into a zip folder. So go ahead, download that zip folder. It will tell you to hold on tight. What's going to happen is if you have anything that is not free and you haven't paid for it, it's going to ask you to pay for it. If not, you can just always remove it. So from then on, I go ahead and I save it and I open it in the folder. There it is and I can go ahead and extract all the files that I want to use. Boom, it is that simple. So I've got multiple pictures already created. So this next part, what I'm going to do is move over to Adobe Premiere Pro. So search for that wherever it is on your desktop. Desktop in the computer. Now this is not a free software, but this is what I use to edit all my videos. I absolutely love it. It is really cool. So I go ahead and I um, create a new project. I'm just going to open up one that I had created. So how we did this, you see I have the whole thing animating and moving through. What you will do is as you're creating one frame at a time, grab whatever frame it is that you want, add it in, and then what you're going to do is then cut it to make sure that it plays for a short period of time, and boom. Then at the bottom over here, I just went ahead and downloaded the clicking effect that I added to the bottom. So basically by cutting these tiny little frames, get to see, add them all, and then you can play it through to see how it all works out. And the final product that you will have when you play through it is this. With this running through and the sound will be playing through as it is, as it is clicking through. So once you're done, go ahead and export your um, video. So you basically go to File, Export the Media. Make sure that you've changed it to a format of H.264 and also change the preset to YouTube. There are other things that you can change if you want, but there's really no need. And after that, go ahead and export the video. Now, I have this already exported. Once you export it, choose which file or where you want it to go. Um, so, I wanted mine to go into this folder called Misty's folder, and there we go. I have my animated splash screen, which is the screen that played at the beginning for some reason you can't really hear the sound right now but you can increase the sound and you will hear it clicking through but basically that is how i created my animated splash screen i hope you guys enjoyed that video don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you want more tutorials but basically that is how you create a splash screen